Jimmy and we're Fire and Ice, formerly Diarrhea. We're gonna explode all over you in just a minute, but first, I'd like to send out some shouts to some very special people I see here in the crowd. True, Lulu, and Amanda. Uh-oh, can I get a spotlight on them? He dragged it out of me. Okay, it was horrible, and he threatened to kill me. Well, that's what I took from him. I'm very disappointed, True. You let the prototype dress out in public. I know. I'm sorry, Mr. Madigan. I'll explain what happened right now. See, I took it. True told me I shouldn't, but I stole the dress. This is True's dream job, Mr. Madigan. If anyone needs to be punished for this, it's me. I see. Is this what happened, True? No. Lulu's coming for me. The truth is, I'm responsible for taking the dress. I know I should have told you right away, but I was afraid you'd be mad at me. I like your dress. Thanks. <laughs> Not helping. <laughs> well, so much for total secrecy. You have True's letter of resignation on your desk in the morning. I don't want a letter of resignation. You, you don't? don't? True. The business world is full of ethical dilemmas. It's often hard to tell between right and wrong. But Max, she's a vice president. She's also a 15-year-old girl. But what about the prototype? All the kids here saw it. I know. I've overheard many young women commenting on it. It's like getting a free sneak preview. <laughs> In a bad way, right? No. What better way to create genuine buzz than to actually let the public see the product? Prediction? This just will be our biggest seller ever. <laughs> How do you do it? Every time you should get in trouble, you end up smelling like a rose. Just lucky, I guess. How you feeling, Hanson Academy? We'd like to dedicate this song to a special lady out there. True? This is for you. One, two, three, four. you were talking about. Baby, my love is like a brown river of fire and ice! Let's get out of here! Good morning, True. How are you doing? Great. Psyched for a new week and especially glad that Friday the 13th is over. Monday the 16th isn't much better. On my way to work this morning, someone threw a jelly sandwich at me. Oscar, will you order me another jelly sandwich? Mine got blown out the window. <laughs> will do. Ready for your presentation, Drew? I hope you're wearing clean socks, because I'm going to knock them off your feet. <laughs> That's what I like to hear. Shh. See you in a few. Hey, Lulu, I hope we didn't ruin your dance with all the drama. Oh, it wasn't so bad. And you're never gonna believe the best part. A really cute guy gave me his phone number. Oh, uh, really? Yeah, we were smiling at each other and then he handed me his number on a napkin. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this one? Yeah. Sorry. <laughs> Come on, I'll buy a bag of health doodles from the break room. You don't have any money. I don't need any. <laughs> Hey, thanks again for getting us that gig. My pleasure. Can I ask you a question? But you have to promise to be totally honest. Don't worry. After what I went through with this prototype, I'm telling the truth from now on. Straight up. What'd you think of my band? The truth? The truth. I think you're a lot more than just a mailroom guy. Really? <laughs> Drew, you're so awesome. <laughs> 
Um, I'll, I'll see you. Bye. 